So this might be a little bit controversial. I posted this on Instagram yesterday and people were a little surprised um, when I said I didn't really love this new Eco Twisby in cream with the rose gold. And I'm gonna tell you why in one second. I'm just gonna try to find a place to set these down. Okay, I found a stump that I can rest on. Uh, everything's pretty wet here in the woods. It's been raining for a few days and not snowing yet though. So I wanted to make this video because I wanna show you the real difference in true daylight. I am outside, the sun is over my left shoulder here. So I want you to be able to see the color difference between the white on the right here and the cream Twisby on the left here with the rose gold trim. Now, the reason I wanted to make this was I made a post on Instagram and got quite a lot of feedback because I was not happy with it when I, when I opened it up. We all sort of have this like aesthetic that we're going for, you know, when we, um, when we choose a pen and you know what one person sees in a sparkle pen you know brings them joy will just somebody else will think is atrocious um you know we all have a difference of opinion and that's okay but when i purchased this pen according to the pictures that i saw online it looked more of like a vanilla ice cream you know, really just like a soft, off-white, slightly creamy kind of color. But as you can see here, to me, this looks more of, it has like a yellow cast, almost kind of like a green tinge to it. And I said this in my post, you know, it reminds me of the 70s and not the good stuff that came out of it, like music and bell bottoms and, you know, musk perfume it reminded me of like the 70s appliances the um you know that came in beige harvest gold and that like avocado green color and you know if that's your aesthetic that's cool but it just wasn't what i was expecting especially from what i had seen online so it's always sort of buyers beware and then with this pen and I'm not going to slam anybody because that's not what I do, but um, who I had purchased it from was not going to let me return it. So uh, the other reason I did get it is because it's a fine. Oh, okay. It's starting to rain. It's starting to drizzle. Nope. It's starting to snowflake. Okay. There's a fine, it's a fine Twisby rose gold nib. And I have the rose gold nibs in medium, broad, and a 1.1, and I love them. Uh, this isn't a knock against Twisby in any way, but more to just be careful when you're purchasing things online. Things aren't always, you know, as pictured and as seen. And I kind of feel like I have a little bit of a responsibility having this channel here. I'm not trying to sell anybody anything. I'm just showing you what I use, what I enjoy, how I use my my things. So I want to be fair and honest with you guys as, you know, as I can be. So I don't want people to spend hard-earned money and then maybe possibly not be able to return it, you know. So I don't know. Right now I'm holding on to it because I do like writing with the nib. I would give you a writing sample right now, but my fingers are going numb. It is only about 36, 38 degrees out here and it's a little cold. So I'm going to wrap it up. I hope this helps in some way and I will see you guys again soon. Take care. Oh, have a healthy, happy, safe new year. If I don't talk to you guys or see you guys before then, take care. See you next year.